Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advanced Paper 2 Physics in the year 2018. The question is from the topic of galvanometer from current electricity. Basically, the question is easy. The calculations are also easy. Most of the students would have done this fairly easily. Let's see what's happening over here. There's a galvanometer which has 50 turns. Each turn has an area of uh, each. That means each coil has an area of uh, I mean, the coil has 50 turns, but each turn has an area of 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. When the magnetic field of 0 0.02 Tesla is produced, then the wire rotates by an angle of 0.2 radians, and this is the full scale deflection. The torsional constant of the wire is also given 10 to the power minus 4 Newton meter per radian. The resistance of the galvanometer has been given. Now we need to convert this galvanometer in an ammeter whose range must be 0 to 1 amperes. So we have to find the shunt resistance that must be attached with this galvanometer. I hope the question is clear. So if you try to recall, then let's say this is the one particular turn of the galvanometer. So we will be having 50 such turns, right? Now this is the torsional wire. So when the current will be passed, then because of magnetic torque, this coil will turn and the reverse torque will be given by the torsion, torsional wire. So under the case of equilibrium, we can say, let us say the maximum current is being passed. So in that case, we will get maximum deflection, which is 0.2 given in the question. So if you try to recall, the magnetic torque is given by NIA into B. This is the magnetic torque M cross B, magnetic moment cross magnetic field. In this case, in the case of galvanometer, the magnetic field is always perpendicular to the uh, magnetic moment. So, and this is magnetic moment, this is magnetic field, sine 90 will become 1. This must be equals to tau theta. Tau is the, this must be equals to k theta, sorry, not tau theta, k theta. K is the torsional constant. So, when theta is maximum, so we can say that current will also be maximum. So, th by theta maximum, I mean, I mean to say that maximum deflection uh, under equilibrium, okay, maximum deflection in the case of equilibrium. That means steady state has been achieved. There is no damping. There is no oscillations. There is no oscillations. So basically, N will be 50. I we have to find. Area of cross section is 2 into 10 to the power minus 4. Magnetic field is 0. Point, uh, how much? Magnetic field is 0. 0.02. 0. 0.02. K is 10 to the power minus 4. And theta is 0 0.2, right? So if you see this 50 and 0 0.02 will become 1. Okay, this 10 to the power minus 4 will be cancelled. So I will be 0 0.2 upon 2, so that will become 0 0.1. And hence, full scale deflection current is 0 0.1. This is the first part of the question. Now we have to convert this galvanometer in an ammeter of range 1 ampere. So we already know that when a galvanometer is converted into an ammeter, then this shunt needs to be added over here. Okay. And there will be a 50 ohm register inside the galvanometer. Now maximum of 0.1 current can pass here, but we need to have one ampere current crossing this whole body. This whole body is ammeter. So if one ampere must pass here, your yeah, one, one ampere should be able to pass here, then maximum of 0.1 can pass galvanometer. That means 0.9 ampere will be passing through shunt. So we can say that 0.1 into 50 ohms, which is the potential difference across galvanometer, must be equal to 0.9 into shunt, which is the potential difference across shunt. So from here we get S equals to 50 upon 9, which will become 5.56 ohms. So this will be the answer to this question. I guess uh, you would have understood the solution quite simple, right? That's it. Thank you.